Hello gorgeous, what's up? It's your girl Akeisha. First, I want to say that I am sick right now, so I sound very nasally and I don't like it. <laughs> One of the latest beauty trends involves moisturizing your face using nothing but water. You heard me correctly. This method involves patting seven layers of liquid hydration into your skin. And what this is supposed to do is just hydrate your skin from within. By letting your skin soak up the much needed water, it's supposed to leave you with very supple, hydrated skin that is soft to the touch and doesn't look oily or greasy. For the past seven days, I've been trying out this method using my DIY facial mist, which if you guys haven't seen, it will be linked in the cards as well as the description down below. But before we get ahead of ourselves, let's review the past week. If you haven't already subscribed, make sure to click that big red button and give this video a thumbs up for more videos like this. Without further ado, let's get into the video. I first want to talk about the different things that I've been using on my skin this week just to be a little bit more accurate in this video. So first I've been cleansing my skin with my Aveeno Positively Radiant uh, Skin Brightening Daily Scrub and what I like about this is that it has tiny 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 very soft beads and it doesn't suds up at all. And after that I would spray my face with seven layers of this right here. In the daytime I would apply SPF. This is my Murad Invisible Perfecting Shield with 30 SPF. If you guys have been following my Snapchat, you guys would know that I'm doing my ultimate mask challenge. And so for this week, we did use the Glam Glow mask. And last but not least, because it is around the time of the month, I did break out a little bit. So I use my Bentonite Clay as a spot treatment. This morning when I woke up, my eyes were super, super puffy. I mean, like puffy to the point where like, I think my face was swollen to be honest. I don't know what happened yesterday I don't know maybe all the water made my face swollen But for some reason like my cheeks were just puffy and my eyes were, were puffy too. So now it's the end of the day. It is 12 57 I just got home from work and my skin actually looks and feels Still hydrated actually it has that like um, or maybe it's just the oil <laughs> Well, my skin hasn't generated as much oil as it usually does and I can feel the difference in my skin Just like with the amount of oil like I used to usually I would have like this really really oily section right here And that's not there at all. So that's really nice The first step is to leave the water on your face and not wipe it off which I do anyways I usually just walk around and let it dry, but you're supposed to pat it into your skin I feel like I'm just moving the water around. It's not actually doing anything. So now I'm taking my DIY facial mist, which is my toner slash essence, if you would call it that. And I'm going to spray this all over my face and neck. Do you see that? It almost feels like I put on lotion when I didn't. It feels like after, for example, when you do a facial steam, and you know how your face feels just so soft and like supple? That's what it feels like. Now it does feel a little tacky, only because the mixture that I have has glycerin in it, and that's why it feels like that. It honestly feels like I have lotion on my face, and I don't, I just have water. <laughs> So it's the second day I just woke up. Um, I don't know if I'd say my face feels hydrated, but it doesn't feel dry. Um, I did have like a little bit of oil on my forehead, just natural like sebum releasing. But other than that, like it doesn't feel like I didn't apply anything on my face. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and wash our face with the Aveeno Positively Radiance Facial Scrub. And then I'm gonna go in with my Facial moisture. The only thing I did notice is that um, the product, when I push it into my skin, it pulls, it, what do you call it, pools around my eyes. And so the product kind of gets into my eyes, I think. And I think that was why my eyes were a little puffy yesterday when I woke up. They're not puffy today, but it might be for that reason. One thing I can really get used to is just how hydrated my skin feels and how plump it feels. I can get used to that. One thing I am noticing is just how nicely my foundation applies. Like, I didn't even use any powder. It just looks like a natural sheen on my face. 
Today is the third day of doing this routine and because I did start my ultimate mask challenge, I do have to add a mask onto my face. So for this week, I'm centering around one brand for a mask and the one I chose is Glam Glow. So I'm gonna be using my Glam Glow um, Thirsty Mud Hydrating Treatment over my skincare method. Now this is the only product that I'm gonna be using on top of my uh, facial mist. So I have noticed I did break out a little bit. That could be because of my menstruation cycle. That's the time of the month where I usually break out. Um, I don't think it's specifically because I'm putting moisture in my face. Once again, went ahead and sprayed it on my face, and I did find that it's still pooling around my eyes, and so it's making my eyes, like it, the water gets in my eyes a little bit, and it's a little bit irritating. So what I tried this time, instead of spraying it actually onto the palm of my hand, and then patting that into my face. I've seen people use that before, so instead I'm gonna spray about four spritz onto the palm of my hand, and pat that into my face. And that way I could also control the distribution of the product over my face, to make sure I'm getting a nice, even layer. It's become more of a routine than something that I have to remember to do, but I do find that I'm always losing track of how many layers I put on. Like today, I'm not even sure if I put on nine or seven, but I guess the more the merrier. <laughs> Let's start with the cons of using this method. So the first con is that it is time consuming. You are literally patting water into your skin. It does take a little bit of time to actually soak up into your skin. Also the patting motion of doing this is not natural. And also you're playing seven layers. So I found it sometimes hard to remember how many layers I already put on. And I swear some nights I put about nine layers on my face just because I kept forgetting what number I was on. If your routine is supposed to be really quick and you're in a rush, for example, in the morning to get out the door to work or school, you're gonna find this method even much more time consuming just because you have to sit there and pat your skin seven times before you can do anything else. It can also be a little messy. As I mentioned before, if you're pouring it into your hand or spraying it onto your Face. And the last con is that you use quite a bit of product. This is just one week of using this on my skin, and I've used this much liquid. Like that's a lot, especially if you're gonna get a, if you're using a toner that costs like fifty dollars, fourteen layers of moisture into your skin, you're gonna go through the bottle really, really quickly. Because this was a DIY mist, it wasn't that much of an issue because I could easily make this again. So that's something to take in consideration. Let's go on to the pros. So the first pro of using this method, and it's probably the most amazing pro, is that your skin can breathe. Using this seven layers, I did not have to apply any other moisturizer to my skin. I usually apply maybe seven moisturizers on my face at one time. There's so much stuff going on in my face and that they're all kind of trying to work as best as they can on the skin, but because there's so many layers, none of the products actually take effect. My skin feels so soft and smooth just by applying water. Even though it's the week before my period, I did not break out as much as I usually tend to. Like you'll see right here, I do have a few blemishes on my skin, but then I applied my bentonite clay on them as a spot treatment. Now, bentonite clay is an amazing mask for the skin, and I've talked about it in countless videos, but I really saw its true powerful effects when I used it as a overnight spot treatment. The pimples that I did get, they didn't leave a scar on my face, which is something very, Abnormal for me as you can see my skin is prone to scarring and It doesn't want to let go of that hyperpigmentation like I said I'm still doing my ultimate mask challenge So this week when I use my glam glow mask I actually didn't apply it all over my face The only place where I applied this glam glow was wherever I had fine, fine lines So around my forehead right here from between my brows around my eyes at the end and in my small lines That's it. I did not apply this all over my face because I didn't feel like I didn't really feel like I needed to. All in all, this week taught me a few things. Number one, I don't have to use a lot of different products on my face um, to get great results. It also taught me how disciplined I can be to remember doing this on my face every single day. The question is, would I try this method again? I really like the benefits that this method gave me and I definitely think it's something that I would add into my routine. Maybe not on a daily basis, but at least two to three times a week. And maybe not seven layers of 
mist, maybe three layers of mist I can commit to. Definitely the less is more type of uh, mentality that this method gave me this week, I would absolutely include it into my routine. The most amazing part about this is it's great for every single skin type. So get your bottle of facial mist and start hydrating your skin. So I hope you guys really enjoy this video. So if you guys like this kind of vlog style, try with me skincare videos, make sure to give it a big thumbs up so I know to do more videos like this. Tell me in the comments below if you're going to be trying out this method for yourself. Stay gorgeous, stay fabulous, and I'll see you lovely ladies and gents in the next video. Bye!